What's up everybody, this is Frost for Failed Guardian, and today we're going to be showing you how to get outside of the map using the mobile shield glitch in order to get to the backside of the DZ Dark Zone and get yourself some pretty easy experience points. So the first thing you want to do is run towards the wall and spam the living hell out of either the L1 or the R1, whichever you have it mapped to. As you can see, you can kind of get to the wall. It takes a few times to do it, but after a while it'll work. You glitch straight through. There's my little salute to everybody. And now you're on the outside of the map. Uh, it's, pre it's, it's pretty open, and you can see where I am here on the map, and this is the one place you're going to want to do it. It's one of those places um, along the outer edges of the map that has a single wall. Anything that has like a double wall with like a concrete pillar up above it or in front of it is really not going to work with. Uh, I guess maybe you could do it, but it would be a major pain in the ass. Anyway, as you get into the back alleys of the outside of the map, you're going to run into a few civilians like this one. You're not going to find any enemies. You will find some ammo boxes, things like that, but you're not going to run into any enemies. You're not going to find anything secret. I walked around here a lot. <laughs> I mean a lot. And as you can see by the map, this is going to kind of give you a generalization of where you need to go next. You're kind of going backwards to go forwards. So I know it looks like you're going the wrong direction, but you're not. You want to get to, I think, believe it's 12th Street down by the pier. And all you're going to want to do is just keep walking down. It, it does take a little while to do this, I'm not going to lie to you. But once you get there... Oh, and one thing, when you do get there... Uh, well, we'll go into that later. But... <laughs> don't want to give up all the secrets yet. I'm going to keep showing you the map so you can kind of understand which way I'm going. Uh, that's one of the parks there. You have to go around the park. There really is no easier way to do it. I mean, well, there might be, but this is actually the quickest way to go. Other ways, you have to glitch through multiple walls, and you can easily get stuck or lag out or the 27 other things that happen to me along the way. Anyway, so I'm speeding it up a little bit here. Just, you can pretty much ignore all these buildings. I've, I kind of went into a lot of them. There's nothing there. You're not going to find some super secret stash of weapons. Anyway, so as you progress, you're going to come towards what this double-decker highway that, of course, New York is famous for. Hang a left at that point and go straight. Now, this is the only wall you're going to have to glitch through. This little spot right here, the same thing you did on the first wall, you're going to want to do on this wall. Okay, so I'm going to show you here, you're going to run forward and start spamming it. And if it works correctly, as you can see, the shield pulls you directly through the fence. I got to do my congratulatory jumping jacks. That was actually, I, it only took me one try, uh, shockingly enough. So you can see where I am here on 12th Street, or I'm sorry, 12th Avenue down here by the pier. Now, this is the odd part. So you're going to want to walk through the fence, and then immediately you're going to want to look to your right. You're going to see a truck and a ramp. Now, you can either climb up the truck or go over the cars. you got to climb up the truck first, and then don't try climbing just over all the trucks. It's a pain in the ass and takes too damn long. I don't know. I've seen people do it. It's dumb. Just Now, here's the long part. You're going to be running for about a good five, six minutes. Just keep going. Once the map starts to look like um, something from 1986 Nintendo, uh, you've pretty much gotten to the point where you need to make a hang a right. Now, right here, you're going to be hanging a right turn. Otherwise, you're going to run into a block, and you're not going to be able to go any farther because there's literally nothing rendered past that point. So, as you can see here by the map, I'm going to you can put a waypoint where you need to go, but you can see right here on the dark zone... That street right there, that's where you're going to want to go. There are two spawn points over there for, in the DZ-6, okay? It's a little dicey and a little tricky, so make sure you bring everything you can health-wise because they still can shoot you, okay? It's an easy place to go where you can sit back, you can put out a whole ton of DPS from pretty decent safety but if you're doing this by yourself make sure you bring either the mobile health packs or the mobile cover med packs everything else okay you can set a waypoint 
And as you get to the bump, as you can see right here, here's the, here's the gate. Okay, now you're going to see in a second, it's a little bit tricky to get good shots. Okay, so as you can see, there are several high levels. And once you get towards the fence, you can see this bar kind of across. That's the pain in the ass part. If that bar was not there, it'd be a hell of a lot easier. So you're going to be doing a lot of ankle shooting. You're going to have to adjust your ankle. Um, as you can see right through the fence, I'm definitely getting shots on it. Remember, they can shoot you. Now, if you want to get a little closer and a little bit more dangerous, you can also glitch that fence all the way on the right side, just like I just did. The problem is the closer you get, the more dangerous it's going to be. So, be very careful. I died like three... If you die, okay, you're getting sent back to the beginning. It's just that simple. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the hell out of that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for our PS4 giveaways.